Let's write a function that randomly rolls a six-sided dice and returns a value for that roll between 1 and 6. We'll be writing our function definition with the return type of int and name our function roll dice. And this return type means that we expect a return statement in our function that returns an int as an output. Now let's start writing the code to generate this random int between 1 and 6. We can use mat.random to generate a decimal number that falls between 0 and 1, not including 1 exactly. But how do we get this value to be an integer between 1 and 6? Well, we know how to create a number between 0 and 9.999 from before by multiplying this random number by 10. So let's use a similar strategy to change its range to be between 1 and 6. Let's start focus on our total range. When we wanted to create a range that had 10 total numbers in it from 0 to 9, remember to count 0 as an option too, we multiplied a random number by 10. So 10 number multiplied by 10. This time you'll want a range that has 6 numbers in it from 0 to 6. So you'll want to multiply by 6 to get this correct range. So let's multiply the random number by 6. Then the random number here will be between 0 and nearly 6. But that's not quite what we want. Because now we have just expanded our range from 0 to almost 1 to 0 to almost 6. And we wanted the minimum value of our range to be 1 and not 0 and we wanted our highest value to be merely 7 and not 6. So that later we can cast this value to an int, a maximum value close to 7 something like 6.999 will be casted to a max integer value of 6. So we need to shift this whole range up by 1. We can do that by adding 1 to our random number and our adding 1 shifts this whole range into the correct place, 1 through almost 7. The next thing we need to do is our casting step to get the random integer we want without any decimal place. And we can cast this number by putting the variable type we want which is an integer in parenthesis right before the value we want to change which is random number. And can store the new int value into our variable random int. And again. Even if the double random number value is close to 7, something like 6.999, when this is casted to an int, it will turn into 6 because the decimal portion is ignored entirely. So now we have the correct range 1 through 6, all integers. And to return this value, there is one more step, a return statement. And for that, we can actually say return and then the value we want to return. In this case our variable random int. Perfect. Now we have a return type and a return statement and we can call this function and get a random int as output. So we wrote a function definition for roll dice. Now let's call it twice and store the output. The output should be a randomly generated integer that's between 1 and 6. So let's store these as int variable roll1 and roll2. Let's also include printing code that will print out the values of roll1 and roll2 and the print output might look something like this. Your first roll will be 5 and the second roll is 2. So even though these two rolls were assigned the same function called, each time we call this function, a new random integer between 1 and 6 will be generated and that's why these have different roll values. So good job. We finished writing a program that can simulate a rolling dice.